Assassin's Creed Mirage is less than a month away, and I for one am getting more and more excited for the game's release. However, as is always the case, there's been quite a lot of negativity circling around Mirage, with many players suggesting that it's going to be a massive flop. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you no less than 7 different reasons to be excited about the release of Assassin's Creed Mirage, and I can guarantee you that by the end of this video, you'll be just as excited as I am for the release. But before we get into this video, let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Instant Gaming. Now, Instant Gaming isn't like every other business out there, because they want you to save money rather than spend it. Instant Gaming basically offers the flagship games that you want for a fraction of the price. It's literally a dream come true for gamers like you and me. They also offer pretty cheap top-up cards, which is an added bonus. Right now, you can grab a pre-order of Assassin's Creed Mirage for 20% off. So if you want to get your hands on Mirage and other awesome games for a fraction of the price, then make sure you head to the link in the bio of this video. And hey, there's no need to thank me. So if you've been kept up to date with all the news surrounding Mirage, then I'm sure you're probably all too aware that Ubisoft has been pushing this idea of taking Assassin's Creed back to its roots with Mirage. What they mean by this is that for the past few years, the Assassin's Creed franchise has taken a very sharp turn into a completely new open-world RPG format. Titles like Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla marked completely new territory, where players could explore vast and open world and veer off from the main story for hours on end. Old school players will know that this simply isn't what Assassin's Creed is all about. For years, Creed games have been about following a set story in a linear way, rather than going off to explore some random town that has no real significance. Now, I'm not saying that these open world titles were bad, they were actually pretty fun, but they're just not what Assassin's Creed is about. And besides, we've had three open world titles released in a row now. If Mirage were to become a fourth in that line, then Ubisoft would run the risk of boring fans and just recycling the same idea over and over. So to see Ubisoft go back to AC bread and butter is very exciting. Now, the RPG format that we've been used to for the past few years was fun, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't exactly simple. There was just so much stuff that you can use and equip and change. And to be honest, it all felt a little bit confusing. I mean, just look at Valhalla. In that game, there were 20 different tools to use, and dozens of different weapons, each with a different weapon type and strengths and weaknesses. For a while, this was new and fun, but I don't know about you, but after the novelty had worn off, I kind of found myself disliking the system more and more. It was just so confusing, and it's something that should be left to true RPGs like The Witcher and Starfield. And all those farming and grinding to upgrade my gear actually took longer than the story missions themselves, making it feel, you know, a bit pointless. So to see Mirage bring things back to basics is going to be a breath of fresh air. You're not going to have to worry about which weapon is better than the other, or which set of armor will be more effective against this type of enemy. Instead, you'll just load up the game, start the mission with the gear you have, and get straight into actually playing the game, instead of just preparing and doing endless upgrades. Another problem that I found myself having with the RPG format games was the sheer size of the maps. I mean, yeah, it was impressive that Ubisoft could create something so big, but there wasn't actually much depth to the map. It just made the map feel like more a headache to traverse than something fun to explore. I mean, can you remember how long it took to travel to each mission in Odyssey? Ubisoft is planning to dial things back a good few notches with Mirage. The focus has changed from quantity to quality, so yeah, the map isn't going to be quite as impressive in terms of sheer numbers, but we've been promised that what the map lacks in size, it'll more than make up for in impressiveness. The streets are going to be bustling with NPCs that react to your moves, guards that will constantly be on the lookout for you, and an environment that actually responds to your movements. If Ubisoft actually delivers here, then Mirage might have one of the best maps out of any Assassin's Creed game because basically we'll have all the detail without the endless traveling, so it's the best of both worlds combined. Now before Origins, Assassin's Creed combat was all about timing and countering your opponent to get the upper hand, but the 2017 title completely flipped the script, changing combat to a more RPG stock format, where you have to slowly beat down your opponent with unrealistic moves that felt like Ubisoft was trying too hard to create something different, and things only got worse as the RPG format continued, to a point where combat was virtually unrecognizable in Valhalla. Pre-Origins, your character could only take a couple of hits before being taken out, 
Fast forward to Valhalla, and Ebior was basically a tank that could take just as much damage as he can deal. Oh, and I don't want to even mention the overpowered heavy weapons. The system was so frustrating for so many reasons. Firstly, it would take you ages to chip away at an enemy's health bar. And secondly, you don't look like an assassin in the slightest when fighting. Assassins are all about quick, silent, you know, assassinations, rather than prolonged firefights. Well, thankfully, Mirage is going to do away with this RPG-style combat and will revert to pre-origin counter-based gameplay. Now, I'm not saying that this system was perfect by any means, because a lot of the time it did feel repetitive, but this style definitely suits the franchise more, and with a little bit of TLC, could make for the best combat we've ever seen in Assassin's Creed. The Assassin's Creed story is one of the reasons that players like you and me keep coming back for more year after year. There's just so much to unpack with the narrative and the way that each game links, despite being years and years apart. I mean, that's just simply awesome. And we should be in for a real treat with the storyline and Mirage. The game is going to follow Basim, who we already know from Valhalla, but this time, we'll follow his journey when he was much younger. We'll see him join the Hidden Ones and ultimately become the assassin that we know him from in the game Valhalla. This storyline should help link up Valhalla and Assassin's Creed 1, and will give us a lot more information about the Hidden Ones that was previously missing. Primarily, Mirage should tell us how the Order of Assassins evolved, which will fill in so many blanks. Interestingly, Mirage is also going to continue on the storyline from the more recent games. Mirage was never actually intended to be a standalone title, with Ubisoft instead planning it to be a DLC for Valhalla. This means that the story will have heavily tied events to Valhalla itself. So not only will Mirage bridge the gap between Valhalla and Assassin's Creed 1, but it will also tell us more about the events of Valhalla and Origins, giving us a whole lot more information about the Order of the Ancients, which was missing from the core games. A video game can have the best story, the best combat, and the best missions in the world, but if it has bad graphics, no one's gonna enjoy it. And if I'm being honest, this is something that Ubisoft has struggled with in the past. Pretty much every Assassin's Creed game has had several graphical issues, from terrible combat animations to badly synced dialogue. Now, don't get me wrong, the games were still great, but they felt a little unrefined. Well, this could all change for Mirage. From what we've seen, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Everything is sharper and more refined, and even the assassination animations look so much better. Now, Ubisoft is still trying to use the same engine as they did with Valhalla, which didn't exactly have the best animations in the world, but still, Ubisoft has basically built the animations from the ground up, so they should be much more impressive than what we're used to. And it's not just the graphics that look good either. Basim's playground looks absolutely awesome too. The streets of Baghdad will be alive and constantly changing. Narrow streets will make for awesome chasing scenes, and there will be hundreds of buildings and rooftops for you to explore. I mean, as I said earlier, this should not all make Mirage feel bigger and better than the RPG games despite it being a fraction of the size. So there you have it, seven reasons to be excited for the release of Assassin's Creed Mirage. Honestly, I'm more excited to play Mirage than I've been for any other Assassin's Creed game for the last three to four years. It looks so much more refined in literally every way, and it's actually going to take the franchise back to where it belongs. Even if you prefer the RPG format, I've got a feeling you're still gonna enjoy Mirage. So make sure to take advantage of that 20% discount because it's not gonna last forever. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out our recent breakdown of the things you missed from the Mirage trailers. It'll make you even more hyped for the release. Thanks for watching.